F-16's debut in Ukrainian skies, experts point out important details. Theoretically, the Ukrainian Air Force, after receiving the first American F-16 fighters, could launch up to a dozen aircraft at a time. However, as the Kyiv Post newspaper writes, citing analysts, the realities of wartime and the corresponding training of Ukrainian pilots will force them to carry out combat sorties in much smaller numbers. The typical optimal F-16 formation size is two to four aircraft operating together with an experienced pilot who is trained and qualified to fly multiple aircraft as a formation leader. The aircraft is configured to operate and is designed to optimize combat capabilities without the rigid and uniformed control of uninitiated personnel on the ground like the MiG-29 and Su-27, the publication says. According to Vadim Ivchenko, a member of the Vakovna Rada Committee on National Security, the first F-16s will arrive in Ukraine in July. I believe that at first they will be used to defend against enemy missiles and will not operate against targets in Russia. It is emphasized that the F-16 was designed for optimal performance in the air, not to be launched from unimproved airfields with grass and gravel on the airfield surfaces. Fighters require clean runways built to a higher standard than the Ukrainian airfields of the Soviet era. The F-16 has an engine air intake that can suck in ground debris. It was designed to fly from normally clean airfields that meet NATO and world standards. These low-mounted intakes also make them undetectable by enemy aircraft on radar at long ranges. The MiG-29 has protective ground intakes that redirect the intake air source over the wings to allow operation on dirty surfaces, a feature that contributes greatly to its large radar footprint. The publication writes, it is noted that operating the F-16 on Soviet-style airfields is equivalent to driving a Lamborghini or Ferrari supercar on a road that is better suited for a Jeep Wrangler or Toyota Hilux 4x4. Let us recall that the research fellow of the State Aviation Museum of Ukraine, Valery Romanenko, expressed confidence that the construction of underground shelters for Western F-16 fighters in Ukraine is impossible. A set of measures will be used to protect them. Ukraine does not have the ability to build new defensive structures now because it is very expensive. In addition, they are penetrated by modern missiles because several meters of concrete are penetrated. For example, Storm Shadow is capable of penetrating up to four to five meters of concrete concrete and even iron.